ProWrestlingTees.com slash 616 Entertainment is the home of all official 616 Entertainment merchandise. Pick up a shirt, you'll be glad you did. This video is also brought to you in part by the Patreon producers, without whom content like this would not be possible. What's up, Dan Dans? Welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday. My name is Ian, and we have a very special episode here today. We're going to open up some factory-sealed Mortal Kombat trading cards. So here we are, Dan Dans. We have these Mortal Kombat card game trading cards from Brady Games. This is a 60-card starter deck, the Red Border Edition, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> I really didn't do much research on them. Look at that, huh? That's pretty fancy. And if we're reading the text on the back, it says, Prepare yourself, mortal. You are about to begin your journey into the Outworld's deepest realms. Fighting as one of 20 combatants, you decide the fate of the Earth in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> the Mortal Kombat card game, limited edition red border set, includes 300 common, uncommon, and rare cards. I guess I can drop the voice now. <laughs> this starter set contains 60 randomly assorted playing cards to add to your collection and prepare you for the ultimate challenge. And you can see that at the time that these were at retail, they were $7.99. Let me tell you something, I paid a little bit more than that for these on the old eBay. <laughs> just, just a wee bit more. But here's a little story I'm going to tell you guys. I did not know that this is what I was going to get this little box of playing cards which i mean it has it has 60 cards in there but i thought what i was getting was one of those boxes that i got that i opened on the channel in the past like that big superman booster box those superman trading cards or like the mortal kombat movie trading cards that i opened i thought that's what i was getting i didn't know i was getting one little box but Luckily, this is not a starter set in the sense that these are going to be the same cards that everyone else would get. This is uh, this is randomly packed, at least according to the text on the box, which is fantastic. So we don't know what's going to be in here. So without further ado, let's get into this goddamn thing. If I can figure out how to open it. Here we go. Got that little seam ski on the side there. That's how you get those boys open. It's really a struggle. Let me tell you something. You see people online opening... Pokemon cards like Max Mofo and all these other people and they don't have any trouble keeping the cards and the boxes in focus uh, It's difficult and maybe they're recording on their phone and it's easier But I have my Panasonic DMC GH4 on the desk and the depth of field is quite shallow You see that? If I'm not in the sweet spot right here, it's gonna look like shit I'm actually pretty goddamn excited to dig into these because I don't know what any of these cards look like. I did not preview them online. Perfect, I opened them backwards, so we don't know what the fuck we're gonna get. What's this big thick thing here? We got a thick boy! Ooh, what is this? Is this a big old? Okay, these are the rules. I know you can't see that, it's goddamn huge. But these are the rules, this is how you play the game. God damn it! I was really hoping this would be a poster, but it's not. It's just more rules! But fuck the rules, because we're not going to play the game. On to the cards. What should we do? Should we just flip these around and like judge them as they come? We got a Liu Kang ski card here. Very cool. Liu Kang is a member of the Order of Light and a descendant of the original Kung Lao. He fights to avenge his brethren and protect Earthrealm from Khan's armies. Very cool. Uh, I guess we can kind of just rifle through these pretty quickly. Goro Patty Cake. How about that? <laughs> Patty Cake Friendship. Cancels Fatality or Vendetta. Goro's lonely childhood taught him to entertain himself. <laughs> okay, so some of these, it seems, are going to have a pretty good sense of humor to them. I don't know how we judge rarity. Yo! This is fucking awesome! Smoke Inhalation Fatality. We don't have to read how to use the cards. Let's just check out the art. God, that is awesome. I've never seen any of this artwork before. So I'm popping big time for these. I kind of like this look for Smoke. His, his costume looks almost mirrored in a way. It doesn't have the quilted, like, traditional Mortal Kombat 2 look. Ooh, this one's upside down. How about that? Raiden's Fury. Man, he's, he's an all-black. This is Dark Raiden before Dark Raiden existed, huh? 
And it's still R-A-Y-D-E-N. Very cool. I wonder if they're going to flip back at any point. Khan's Throne. Dude, I'm just stoked on this artwork. Vendetta, a special effect. This is, okay, we got Raiden from behind here. Um, still cool art. I don't know what's going on with these, like, teeth over here. Are we behind him? Yeah, because he's about to throw a big, like, overhand right. At who? We don't know. I feel like we should probably flip the deck over so they don't all continue to be upside down. But I also don't know if it's going to switch over at some point. How about that? <laughs> got Shang Tsung pulling some bullshit here. Here we go. Flipping the deck. So now we should be right side up once again. Yo, how about that? Kintaro, trapped. Combatant may not counterattack, but may use any defensive moves, blah, blah, blah. It's all about the art, dude. It's all about the art. I'm trying my best not to get you guys some glares here. Sidestep. I don't know what's going on there. Kano's getting hit with some bullshit. Some sort of projectile is affecting Kano in a bad way. I almost called him Conan. What is this, a goddamn WCW video or Mortal Kombat? We got the faint kick here from Liu Kang, knocking some sense into Reptile. We've got the low power block, which is a defensive maneuver. I guess we can assume from our context clues that this is smoke on Scorpion, right? Or is that Goro? I don't know. His hand is quite large. <laughs> we don't know. But does Goro wear yellow gauntlets? I can't really remember. This art is awesome. Sub-Zero with the frostbite special move. Why is he throwing spikes of ice at the ground? I cannot be certain about that. I am not particularly sure, but you can be certain that whatever he's doing was pretty cool. <laughs> Sonya Blade looking bombed out. Goodness me. <laughs> this is a special move. It's the clothesline. She can clothesline me any day, I'll tell you that much. Being that this is a trading card game, I don't know if we're going to get like any holographics or anything. Air throw, special move, scorpion, putting the business on Sub-Zero. But then again, like, Pokemon's a trading card game, and they have holographics, so maybe I'm just an idiot. What is this? Poison Claw special move. That's gotta be, that's Reptile. It's gotta be. Although he's, he's looking very, that looks very much like the belly of a bullfrog. But these claws, what the fuck am I talking about? Goodness gracious, Melina's here, large and in charge. Look at the bodies on these fucking people. Good lord. How about a little bit of repeating kick? Liu Kang putting the business on Scorpion. That's actually pretty impressive. To catch a guy in a guillotine choke and throw the heel up from the back? I've never seen that shit before. I like that a lot. What else? What else? The shit's upside down again! That's okay. Roll to your feet. Special effect. Interesting. I can't tell if that's Reptile or Sub-Zero. The color is almost... It's like an aqua. It's not, hmm, maybe it's Tundra, how about that? Or Hydro, how about that? Who knows? <laughs> what else, what else, what else? Jump kick, basic attack. I don't know if Kano thinks it's pretty basic to take that fucking shot to the face, but that's not Kano, so never mind. That's, that's probably Jax, now that I look closer at it. <laughs> Muscle spasm. Shao Kahn looks like he's having a lot of problems here. First of all, he looks asshole naked, does he not? You've got this little red thing down here, his dick flap, which I guess is keeping him from being naked, but it looks like he's just wearing his, his helmet and his shoulder pads. And other than that, he's just letting it breathe. His face also looks really fucking weird. It looks like he's wearing a COVID mask in the shape of a skull across the bottom of his face, does it not? Don't really think they did Shao Kahn a lot of, uh... A lot of favors here. Not a great look for the Emperor of Outworld, but this is a pretty great look for Jax. Hitting a knee to the guts of Reptile. What does Reptile need guts for? He's a goddamn Reptile. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tranquility. Who is that? Who the fuck is that? Is that... That doesn't really look like Goro. No, it can't be Goro because he doesn't have the ponytail. It's not Kintaro. Is it? Is it supposed to be Kintaro? not Baraka. Who the fuck is this? Someone tell me who this is. <laughs> Moving on. Flipping around here. Attack. Sweep kick. 
Scorpion looking as cool as he can. Hitting that sweep kick on... I mean, I, I guess that's just like a blacked out character, but we could we could we could pretend and assume that it's Noob Saibot. How about it? We can pretend that, can't we? <laughs> Should we flip this deck again? Flip the deck. Back to normal. What do we got here? Special effect, Chi Power, Shout. The battery on the camera is dying. Can we get one more garden before it dies? Roundhouse Kick from Johnny Cage, rocking the red, the alternate color from Mortal Kombat 2. So that's a cool little Easter egg. Unless they were basing the art on what he wore in the studio. And they just assumed that he was going to be red. But I have to stop here and we'll pick up a little later because this battery is going to die. We have a freshly charged battery and we are back at it with these Mortal Kombat trading cards. What do we have next? Special effect, chi power, speed. How about, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this dick. <laughs> Liu Kang's dick is exploding in this big green ball. Or is this one of those farts that goes from the bottom and comes out the front? <laughs> oh god. We got the ankle kick. Again, I don't really know what the hell's going on here. This, it just, it looks like a sweep. Unless, why is this guy up in the air? Who is that? Why is that man up in the air like that? Many questions. Whoa! Dropped it. Many questions about these cards. We got the Dirty Trick, which is a foot stomp. I mean, that's not that dirty. That's legal in MMA to stomp feet. Flying Kick. See, now that, that's a special move if I've ever seen one. Liu Kang, that forward, forward, high kick. That's a goddamn special move. We got the Palm Strike, a boss rootin' classic. Dang it, the dang it, the dang. Kano's throwing it here, and Kano's got an interesting head of hair here. Does he not? <laughs> See this fucking Widow's Peak action he's got going on here? He's making it work for him. I don't think there's a lot of guys out there that can make that work. Maybe Jude Law. <laughs> what is this? Defense, flip, let's get a focus here. The flip action, we've got the pointed feet, we got the ass, and we got this curved back here. All right, <laughs> do whatever you need to do. High green bolt, Johnny Cage, with the special action. This, is, this art sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. I mean, let's go back. We got this one, flying kick, that looks awesome. Very cartoony, very comic booky. We've got this one of Sonya Blade, which is a little, it's a little, it's very, it's, you know. What the fuck is going on here? When have we ever seen Johnny Cage throw his green energy bullshit in from that position? That's not, he looks like someone's tossing him a snack and he's gonna be like, I got it. He doesn't look like he's throwing his green shit. The crouch kick, classic. Little foot to the thigh, as you can see, whoever this is. I'm thinking maybe it's Kung Lao because I see a hat, but it doesn't look like it's a bladed hat. I can't really tell. But they're barefoot. Don't you think you'd have a little more success kicking somebody in the quad if you had some pointed boots on? What's up here? Look at this Raiden. This alternate outfit for Raiden, which has, this has never been used in any game. We got the dark blue, maybe purple with the baby blue on the bottom. What an interesting look. What an interesting look. Sonya Blade looking like a million bucks once again with the ring wave. I know the inside joke is to call these things the onion rings, which I find pretty funny. We got the leg grab here, as usual. Scorpion and Sub-Zero going at it, always causing problems for each other. Not always, they get along sometimes, but more often than not, they're causing problems. We have the Jumping Dragon Fireball from Liu Kang, which, again, is very similar to this other Liu Kang card. But if you're drawing Liu Kang stuff, it's probably pretty simple. He's got a couple, couple poses that you have to get down. Kano's here, and I feel like his hair, his hairline has improved. <laughs> Hasn't been that long. Where's that fucking Kano card we had? It's around here somewhere. Look. Are we seeing some restoration here? Maybe not. It looks a little thinner here than it does there. Maybe he's using uh, Keeps, <laughs> which is not a sponsor. 
But if they want to give me some money, then that'd be okay. <laughs> if they give money to every other fucking podcast in the world. Johnny Cage is pulling off the crouch. That's a defensive move if I've ever seen it. And whoever's throwing this fucking shot up here. Look at, I was going to say he's jacked beyond belief, but look at Johnny. Johnny's fucking juiced to the gills here. Good lord. What are they putting in the water around here? This is fantastic. We have a friendship card. To my best fan, Cage. You gotta love that. If you don't love that, you lose my number. You unsubscribe from this channel. <laughs> Baraka. Finally some Baraka action. Shout out to all the Tarkatans around the world. He's shooting off the fucking... What do you call that? Spark toss, I guess, is what you would call it. But he clacks those goddamn blades together. Sends a projectile across the screen. That's big bad news for whoever's on the receiving end. Raiden with the head kick. Now, this is not a traditional head kick. If you're watching MMA, usually a head kick, you're going to get a shin to the side of the head, maybe off the top of the head with a little bit of clang action. You know what I'm saying? This ball of the foot under the chin is much more reminiscent of Anderson Silva's front kick to the face on old Vitor Belfort. You know what I'm saying? Am I the only MMA mark here? <laughs> oh, dude! This one is... Big business. Sub-Zero with the deep freeze fatality. Look at that. You have the shattered fucking head down there. The pieces of the body just exploding. This might be my favorite card yet. And Dan Dan's, I do not intend to keep all of these cards. I have enough shit in my house as it is. So I'm going to give a lot of these cards away. More details on that soon. This is Excellent artwork. I love this. Confusion. We've got Reptile here freaking everybody out. Who knows what the fuck is going on here? But that's the point. It's confusion. <laughs> Up next, the Kiss of Death from Sonya Blade. Looking as fine as ever. W would you sign up for a Kiss of Death from Sonya? It might be worth it. it. It really might be worth it. If it's fucking... Bridget Wilson from the first Mortal Kombat movie? Definitely worth it. Sign me up. <laughs> Here's Morph, the special move from Shang Tsung. It's kind of like an Animorph card. We have young version of Shang Tsung into in between, and it looks like he has come out the other side as Goro, which is big bad news for whoever is standing across from the sorcerer. You don't want to deal with that bullshit. Oh, fuck. Okay. We have a new card in the running for the best one. These are both really cool. Shit, this might be this might be the thumbnail right here, huh? I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But Scorpion with the toasty fatality. Look at the fucking skeleton. For whatever reason, the skeleton is reminding me of like Ray Harryhausen's stop motion animation back in the day. I'm talking like Jason and the Argonauts, Clash of the Titans. Just fantastic stuff. Really love the way the fire looks here. It looks watercolor. Can't really tell. I'm no expert, but it's giving off a watercolor vibe to me. Those are my favorites so far. Those two fatality cards. Oh, we got another fatality card, dude. Raiden with the shock therapy fatality. Goodness me. I don't, that doesn't look like any sort of therapy I've ever seen before. <laughs> you know? I think this is a one-and-done therapy. Yeah, you're not gonna have problems anymore, but you ain't gonna have shit. <laughs> Melina with the Psy Throw. This is kind of reminiscent of one of the cards we had from Melina earlier, but I know there's a lot of Melina marks out there. A lot of double M's, you know what I'm saying? So that's big for them. Ooh, the Dragon Bite. God damn, we're getting a lot of heavy hitters. A lot of main eventers right at the end here. This artwork is fantastic. That's got to be smoke. That's got to be cave. <laughs> That's got to be smoke right there. Getting bit in half. He's not in half just yet, but you know he will be. Fuck. That's really cool. We're down to like the last handful here. Dan Dan's. What do we got? This is great artwork too. Two hit combo. From Sub-Zero, not really sure what's going on. He's freezing some shit over here. What this negative space and the tiny Sub-Zero is about, <laughs> I don't really know. But I do like it. I am a fan of the artwork. Fuck. This is really good. It's 
fan swipe special move. How is this not a fatality card, dude? Th th I feel like this is the first card. I sound like Porky Pig there. <laughs> I feel like this is the first card we've had that has like substantial blood on it. Look at that. You got blood on the edge of the fan. It's flying off in front of her face. You got blood in her hair. Katana's been fucking people up here. I'm not really sure what her situation is, but she's been she's been through it on this night, you can tell. God damn! The heart rip fatality. Kano ripped that shit. His hair's not looking great again. <laughs> Kano rips the heart out, and he's staring at that fucker. He's watching that thing take its final beats. Man, I, I feel like... I don't know what it was, whether it was me... I guess they just packed a lot of the best cards at the end. They had to have, because we're getting all these fatalities in a bunch at the end here. We got, ooh, nice Jade card. First appearance of Jade here. With the fan swipe, which is interesting. Why does Jade have fans? This must be right around the time of Mortal Kombat 2. What the, is there a year on this box? 1992 interesting well maybe that's just when they made the deal with mortal kombat i don't know but jade did not exist in 1992 mortal kombat 2 came out in 1993 and i guess when jade showed up she just had katana's move set either way very cool very early appearance of jade there we got the low block a defensive move why is he blocking low with his arm wouldn't he be checking the kick what is with Johnny Cage? Uppercut Decapitation Fatality. Now this should be a cool card, but I feel like it sucks. That's a fatality card. Dude, that's a fucking fatality card. That is a fucking fatality card. That is a fucking fatality card. One more, how about it? That is a fucking fatality card. I lied, one more. That is a fucking fatality card. I can't even hang on to all these good fatality cards. And Johnny Cage gets this weird art style that nobody else had. Who was in charge of drawing fucking Johnny Cage? Because they did an interesting job of it. And this head is gone. And all we've got as far as blood is these three little specks up here. Whereas Katana's fucking fan swipe card wasn't even a fatality card. I can't find it right now. I was going to show it to you to compare. <laughs> but this thing, ugh, sucks. Bad card. Very bad card. But, and look, dude, the juxtaposition of that and this. Compare those. Baraka's card is way cooler, and it's a totally different art style. Completely different. Baraka's card, all day. Down to the final three here. Big money, no whammies. We got the body punch fatality. Now that's a basic attack, but the artwork is sick. And that's all that matters. Great artwork. The penultimate, we have escape. This art sucks. <laughs> that's fucking horrible. <laughs> but it's a little, a little bit of reptile action, and I do like reptile quite a bit. So here we go, Dan Dan's. The last card of the entire set is... The backhand punch being delivered from who I thought was Sub-Zero. Sorry, we're out of focus there. Who I thought was Sub-Zero because it looks bluish, but I see smoke all around him and the word smoke <laughs> up across the top. <laughs> so clearly it is smoke. Now, Dan Dan's, that is the full box of the Mortal Kombat trading cards from Brady Games. That's not every card. Like we said, there are 300 of them, but... That is this entire box. I hope you guys had some fun with this video. I know I had some fun going through these cards. And like I said, as we focus here, I do want to give these cards away. Uh, I don't I don't need all this bullshit. So, if you remember, at patreon.com slash 616 entertainment, I think I'm just going to start picking people at random to mail a bunch of cards out to... I'll probably sign some of them if you want me to. Not that my autograph is worth anything, but some people ask me to do that, so if you want me to, I will. <laughs> this was a very fun episode of Mortal Kombat Monday, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I love ya, 
and I'll see you then.